The Xperia ZR runs on Android 4.12 Jelly Bean with Sony's proprietary launcher on top of it. The user interface and software features are identical to those we saw on the Xperia ZL. Sony has already confirmed that it will be updating the ZR to Android 4.2 next month and has committed to supplying the newest Android 4.3 release later on. The UI looks and feels snappy thanks to Jelly Bean's Project Butter optimizations and the four crate cores under the hood. Sony's proprietary launcher has some interesting goodies. The lock screen offers eye candy animations and music controls, while the notification area has connectivity toggles. Sony has supplied many static and live wallpapers and has enabled you to change the overall look of the UI with system themes. Switching the system theme only takes a few taps. The home screen panes are 5 by default, but you can add, edit, or remove new ones quite easily. The maximum panes you can have is 7. The album app, which replaces the default Google Gallery, is here, showing photos in full resolution and offering a nice design with lots of eye candy and cool effects. The refreshed Walkman audio player is on board as well. Sony has added lots of audio enhancement options to help you customize the sonic experience on the Xperia ZR. The video player has been replaced by Sony's proprietary Movies app, which downloads info online and matches it to your movies and video clips. This makes your library look even better, but unfortunately lacks AC3 audio and subtitle support. The only web browser you get with the Xperia ZR is Google Chrome. It works like a charm and syncs seamlessly with its desktop sibling. Office Suite 7 has been preloaded as well. It allows you to view most of the popular document formats without too much hassle. Sadly, you have to pay extra for the full version to enable editing, but there are plenty of free alternatives available in the Play Store.